Hey guys, uh, heading to the gym, but I wanted to check in with you and talk about the Broncos-Pittsburgh game that happened over the weekend and why Tim Tebow is quote-unquote polarizing. Well, we know that CBS had the highest ratings in 24 years for that wild card game. We also know that Twitter set a new world record for tweets per second, more than when Bin Laden died, more than the royal wedding. So we know that Tim Tebow is quite the cultural phenomenon, which is great, but why is he considered considered polarizing. Well, let me explain something. The media is set to do two things. One, collect eyeballs and two, collect ears. That's it. So what they do, guys, with, with stories is they break it down into boxes, little categories. They dumb everything down into good, bad, right, wrong, black, white, Republican, Democrat, um, and so that they can package it and disseminate it to the masses as quickly as possible, right? And collect these eyeballs and ears. Well, what happens when they have a story that doesn't quite fit into these little boxes, they call it polarizing. Because they can't categorize Tim Tebow, because they can't declare whether he's a success or a failure or good or bad, they figure everyone must be in that same position. But guys, isn't it true that life is best lived outside of any box? So why would we want to put Tim Tebow into a box? Isn't that what we love sports for? is because individuals can surpass expectations and achieve things that we never thought possible? I mean, that's exactly why we love sports. So the next time someone tells you, oh, Tim Tebow, so polarizing, just say, why? Because you don't know what box to put him in? Guys, do yourself a favor. Don't put yourself in a box. Don't put me in a box. Don't put Tebow in a box. Don't put Rogers or Breeze or Roethlisberger or James Harrison. Don't put people in a box. Let them live outside the box you be you, I'll be me, we'll get along just fine. And in the meantime, enjoy sports for what they're supposed to be there for. To watch individuals come together as a team, surpass expectations, and sometimes do things that we never thought possible. All right, heading to the gym. About to go kick some serious arse. We'll talk to you guys later. I'm Julie Beeler.